On day one, I spawned in as Knuckles. This is gonna be awesome. Fighting bad guys, exploring ancient ruins, and making new friends. I only have five hearts and I'm pretty small, but I bet that I can pack a punch. I looked around. I'm in a desert biome. Check it out. I can climb walls too. Let's get a better look at my surroundings. I climbed to the top of a nearby rock, but I must have disturbed some soul vultures because they started attacking me. I struck back, sending one flying. Guess I do have super strength, but it wasn't enough. They knocked me off the wall and I started to fall. Wait, what? Uh, I can glide. Uh, good to know. I landed and noticed that I only had one heart left. I was also getting hungry. I needed to build a base to keep me safe, but first I needed materials. Jeez, where's a tree when you need one? There's some stone, but that'll take forever to dig up. Wait, I'm Knuckles. I don't need tools to mine stone. Take that. I used my strength to punch through the rock and collect the stone. Now, I just needed wood. I ran further into the desert where I came across a vast desert ruin. This place must be ancient. I was about to explore when I saw a small hut and uh, a farm. Who built a farm? in the desert. I wasn't gonna let this free meal pass me by. I started to harvest when I was attacked by a golem. Ah, stop! Just then, the golem did stop. Was that someone whistling? The golem just left. Whoever had whistled had controlled that thing. But where were they? By now, the sun was going down and I needed shelter. Luckily, I walked out of the desert and I stumbled across an oasis. This is gonna be a perfect place to build my home. I used the stone I'd found to build a small hut. On day two, I ran outside. Since I was in an oasis, there were a bunch of trees around. I used the wood from the tree to craft a stone sword and some tools. Feeling confident in my new gear, I decided to go explore the ruin. I had barely begun to explore before I saw some skeletons. They shot at me, but luckily, my new stone sword was able to take them down. With a sword in hand, I set off into the ruins, keeping an eye out for anything I could use. I wonder what this place was before it was destroyed. I found a few statues made of iron and broke them down. It wasn't much, but it was enough to upgrade my sword with, and I decided to head back to my base. What's that noise? It's the skeletons, and they're wrecking it. Get back. Leave my stone hut alone. I took out as many as I could. They dropped bones. One of them even dropped their bow. I can use these. I used the iron I found to craft my sword and ate the rest of my food before filling in the holes the skeletons had put in my base. I need more iron though, and food. Starting in the desert was rough. I had to find a way to pull it off. On day three, I decided to search the desert to see if I can find some other sources of food. I searched all over, gliding above the dunes under the hot sun. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything. Guess that's why they call it a desert. Suddenly, I heard that whistle again. Where's that coming from? I headed towards it and saw the golem fighting a group of blue slime skeletons. Wait, what's it protecting? Sheep and another me? Knuckles, help! I'm on my way. A few swings and the beasts went down. The slime skeletons were defeated, but the golem turned on me. Luckily, the other me calmed it down. Hey, who are you? We're not safe here. Take this pendant before they find me. Okay. Hey, wait, what's your name? But she threw some carrots at me and left. Well... I guess you're coming with me now, sheep. Still, I better keep an eye out for her. With my food situation taken care of, I headed home. Careful to plant the carrots so I wouldn't go hungry again. After that, I built a pen for the sheep. Afterwards, I began to fill out my house, making it more homely by adding more rooms and a bed. On day four, I was exploring a nearby oasis, checking the smaller nearby caves, looking for some more iron. I found a cave that led underground. Let's see. No iron, no iron. Come on. Suddenly, I saw a huge skeleton king and his minions. They were standing on a whole bunch of iron, but that wasn't all. They had a cage and the golem was locked inside. I wasn't sure if I can take them all on, but I couldn't just leave the golem in there. I flew right over them and landed on the cage. One good punch. Ha! You're free, buddy. Wait, he looks angry. He started smashing up the skeleton before taking off towards the desert. The skeleton king attacked me, but I was able to glide and get out of there. Wait, what? Wait up. Where are you going? But the golem didn't listen. I wanted to follow, but I didn't want to just blindly chase into the desert. I headed back home and built an outer wall for my base, and I used the iron I got to upgrade my weapons and armor. I was about to rest when the golem came back, breaking through the wall. Dude, what's your deal? You miss your friends, huh? What's your name? I'll call you Jeff. I built Jeff his own little hut and fixed up the hole in my wall. On day five, the vegetables I'd eaten must have been a little off because I had an awful dream. I was in a city, completely covered in a heavy blue slime. Everyone was stuck, being slowly eaten by whatever this gunk was. I tried to pull them free, but before I could, a massive blue monster appeared. I didn't know who it was, but deep down, I can feel that I knew this thing was pure evil. At last. After eons of waiting, the moment has finally come. What are you talking about? You and your kind brought this on yourselves. Consider this your long overdue punishment. No, uh, we'll stop you no matter how big you get. Luckily, I woke up. What was that thing? Shake it off. It was just a dream. Just then, the ground began to shake and I heard a terrible roar. Just like the monster in my dream. I ran outside and looked around. Jeff, did you hear that? 
No? Huh. Man, that dream really shook me up. Still, better keep my guard up. These ruins aren't all they appear to be. I decided to venture out the oasis a little bit. I collected a bunch of flowers. This will be great to turn into dye for my statue. I decided to start building a knuckle statue to both get my mind off my dream and to show the mobs out there not to mess with me. I gathered some stone for the base and began the feat. On day six, I wanted to do a bit of exploring. I made sure my sheep were happy and I had some food on me before I went gliding around. As I was heading over to the ruins, I noticed a huge sand crater in the middle of the desert. I walked over and noticed that there was a huge slime tornado spinning around, destroying everything. This must be where all the sand is coming from. This is my chance to get some reps in. Let's go. The slime storm took a few hits and gave me some in return, but eventually I was able to take him down. Slime went everywhere. Gross. Wait, what's that slime spelling? Subscribe to Fozo? Hey, that's actually a good idea. You should do that. Anyway, wait, I feel funny and I'm getting stronger. I've grown and I have 10 hearts now. Yes. Feeling brave, I explored the crater. I didn't find any ore, but I did find a few treasure chests, a bit of gold, some more arrows, and a single health potion. Perfect. With my items in hand, I made my way back to the base where I built some chests to store it in. I'll keep this pendant there too. I'm still not sure what it's for. I guess starting in the desert isn't that impossible after all. It's just a little different. On day seven, I made my way back to where I'd saved Jeff and looked around. Coast looks clear. I began to mine the iron, mining out as much as I could carry. I was so busy mining that I didn't hear the skeleton king coming towards me. Okay, skeleton, let's see how tough you are now. It only took a few swings of my sword and a couple of arrows before he was down for the count. Hey, he had better arrows. Sweet. I'll take those. Thank you. With my spoils, I left the cave. Hey, Jeff, you want some upgrades? I got to work using the iron to reinforce not just my base, but my tools, armor, and weapons. Try to smash that wall now, Jeff. Okay, I, I was kidding. Don't actually try. On day eight, I awoke to the sounds of battle. I ran outside and stood on the wall to get a better view and saw Jeff fighting robot creepers? Huh? I flew in, trying to get some hits in, but their armor was too strong. Where do these guys come from? Well, if it isn't my old friend, Knuckles, come to watch the end of the world. Eggman? What are you doing here? Eggman said that he stopped by to start his evil plan. Evil plan? Come on, Gollum, let's do this. With the Gollum's help, we took out the robot creepers. This last punch is for you, Eggman. But he flew away. Jeff seemed anxious to chase after him, but I managed to convince him to stay. Eggman's no joke. We're gonna need to work together to stop whatever scheme he has in mind. <laughs> The pendant? Yeah, it's in the chest back at the base. Hey, golems, stop running away. I followed the golem back to the base and the pendant was gone. I have a bad feeling about this. On day nine, I went looking for Eggman. I wasn't sure why, but I had a terrible feeling that him sniffing around was not a good thing. I spent the whole day searching, but in the hot sun, I was getting hungry fast. I decided to rest in the shade of a nearby cave. This one looks good. Wow, it looks like some kind of ancient golem workshop leading into a spooky mine. I wonder if this is where Jeff is from. Suddenly, I was attacked. I was able to defeat it. Hey, is that some diamond in the back of the cave? I'll take that. It wasn't much. I just need enough for a sword, but it'll do. By then it was getting dark, so I gathered my things and flew back to base. I used the few blocks of diamond I'd recovered to upgrade my sword. The rest, I stored for later. On day 10, I was getting ready to head out when, again, the ground began to shake. Where's that roar again? Jeff definitely felt it that time. It has to be Eggman. Me and Jeff decided to explore to see why the ground shook. We didn't travel far when we saw a huge monument in the middle of the desert. Then, out of nowhere, Eggman flew right over our heads. He's heading towards the monument. I told my golem friend to stay here while I go figure this out. I followed Eggman and saw that he was waiting on top of the monument and it looked like he captured the other me. Eggman threw the pendant in the middle and there was a blinding light. From beyond space and time, a hunger that knows no bounds. Chaos! Is that a blue slime? Chaos! Dinner time! Oh no. Eggman laughed and pulled out a small stone. No, a chaos emerald. The emerald landed next to the slime who began to eat it. Wait, it's growing. It can't be. It's the creature from my dream. I ran towards it and hit it, but my attacks just bounced off. Red one, you cursed kind have ruled these lands for far too long. What do you mean? I was imprisoned to cover your crimes. Consider this your long overdue punishment. Chaos struck back, knocking me flying. I was down to three hearts already. Luckily, I had that health potion. Ugh, close call. I looked around and saw that Jeff had freed that girl. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. On days 11 to 12, we made it back to my base. I wanted to talk to the girl, but she was too weak from everything that happened. I'll take care of her. Here, it's a potato. She ate the food, and with her strength returning, she introduced herself. My name is Dakal, and I'm a descendant of the people who used to live in these ruins, just like you. Well, that explains that. But what's the deal with that blue guy? 
His name is Chaos. He used to protect this place, but our ancestors had to seal him away. He went insane. He'll destroy the world if we don't imprison him again. Agreed. I'm starting to think that dream of mine might have been more of a vision. I realized I needed to expand my food offerings now that I had to call staying with me. She told me that a bunch of elephants used the nearby oasis at night. I waited till sundown before heading over there, and sure enough, there they were. I was about to bring them home with me when I was attacked by a crocodile. One punch, though, and he went running. Come on, guys. I'll take care of you. I built the elephants a pen next to my sheep. I got to call settled in, building her her own bedroom and place to stay with her golem. I expanded the main part of my base to accommodate my new allies and whoever else I might pick up along the way. And if I find Sonic, then he can make his own room. On days 13 to 14, I couldn't help but think about the ruins nearby. I can't just leave it like that. So I vowed to begin rebuilding the nearby ruins and reclaim my old homeland. I figured it would be a good spot for any mob that's in need of help to stay at. And plus, if we wanted to deal with chaos, we needed every advantage. I got to work putting it back together, fixing columns and repairing the walls. I just need more materials. I wonder where that diamond mine is. Maybe I should look for it. I was about to take off when I saw something running towards me. It was a monkey who was being attacked by a blue slime. I went over and took the slime out. Are you okay? <laughs> It has to be chaos. Where's this forest? The monkey gave me directions. About a day's run towards sunset. Hey, feel free to rest up at my base. It's just right over there. I'll take care of the slime problem. On days 15 to 16, I managed to make my way out of the desert and into a new biome. The forest. Man, what a relief from all that sand. I took a step forward and a slime leapt out towards me. Looking around, I can see that they were everywhere. There was a swarm of them. I climbed a nearby tree and was about to plan my attack. I saw another monkey jumping up and down on a nearby tree. <laughs> Yellow fox? Well, I'm pretty sure I know who that is. Can we get there safely? Luckily, I can glide. That monkey led the way, hopping across the top of the trees. It will be a day's journey before we can make it to this base. Lead the way. On days 17 to 18, the monkey led me deeper into the forest. We pushed forward until we came to a massive tree house. Is that where you guys live? It's awesome. Suddenly, I heard a cry for help. It was a monkey being absorbed by a heap of slime. We can't just leave them. Come on, monkey. I leapt in. Fists flying, but the slime seemed to not even care. Just grab your friend and let's go. Back in the treetops, the rescued monkey thanked me. No worries, little guy. Just be safe. He gave me some roses. Uh, thanks. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I can use this to make my red dye. Come nightfall, the monkeys led me to their leader. Thank you for your help. Are you here to protect our shrine? If it means taking out these slimes, then yes. I suppose I am. A fox with two tails is doing the same. He went that way. The monkey king gave me directions and a few bananas for luck. You guys stay safe up here, okay? We'll take care of this slime infestation. At least, I hope we can. On days 19 to 20, I glided over the forest, heading in the direction the monkey king had set. Huh, where could he be? Whoa, careful. Little busy here, Knuckles. Whoa! Tails! I hope he's okay. I found the crash site. Tails is being attacked by a giant blue slime tornado. Man, these things are getting even bigger now. Chaos must be spreading them around. Get away! Take that! With the crash site clear, I found Tails. There are better ways to land, you know. Like, with wheels. Knuckles, I'm glad to see you. I was scouting when these bats attacked. These slimes are unlike anything I've ever seen before. Yeah, I know. Were you able to find their source? Tails pointed off in the distance. What is that? Tails told me that the slimes were gathering at a small cave cave shrine. They're after whatever's in there. I've developed a chemical to freeze them. Good plan, Tails. Here, we'll come back for your plane. Right now, we gotta move. On days 21 and 23, Tails and I flew towards where the slimes were gathering. Tails wasn't kidding. This place was packed. I think the shrine the Monkey King was talking about is inside. Tails, do your thing. Tails dropped his chemicals, and I hope they worked. To my surprise, they did. The slimes were frozen solid. Okay, I'm heading inside to see what they're after. Wait here. I went in the cave, and there, right in front of me, was the shrine. And a chaos emerald. What were the monkeys doing with this? Suddenly, I heard a noise. Eggman told me not to underestimate you. What a weak man. Ah! With each emerald, my power grows. Let chaos swallow the earth. I was about to attack, but chaos ate the second chaos emerald. This can't be good. Chaos started to grow in his size. The more emeralds he ate, the bigger he got. Yep, definitely not good. Where did he go? Knuckles, it's at the treehouse. It's on fire. We flew off hoping to get there before it was too late. On days 24 to 26, we made it back to the treehouse to find it completely destroyed. No, we were too late. Who did this? Chaos betrayed me! Me! How dare he? Eggman, you'll pay for this destruction. Why, you? I don't have time for this! Blue tornado! Attack! 
Get back here. But he took off. I was about to follow, but from the sky came the slime tornado from earlier. Ugh, gotta take this guy out again. The slime tornado hit hard, but I hit back. It won't go down. Tails, a little help here. He threw another one of his potions. The tornado looked weaker. One punch and boom, it went down. I began to feel strange again. This must be my ancient power returning. Yes, 15 hearts. I feel stronger than ever. With the monster defeated, we rescued the monkeys. Sorry about your base, guys, but if you come with us, I'll make sure you have a place to live. The Monkey King forgave me and offered to bring their supplies to help us reinforce our base. Thanks, guys. It'll definitely be useful. Come on, Tails. I have someone I think you should meet. On days 27 to 29, and we made it back to the base to find the golem taking out a handful of robot creepers. Was that a robot blaze with them? Eggman is out of control. I jumped in and helped the golem fight off the creepers. The blaze took off, heading further out into the desert. I checked in with my base. How you guys doing? These robot attacks are getting worse. We should probably take care of that. And fast. I introduced Tails to Tikal. So that's what's going on here. I'll study the ruins and see if I come up with something. Come on, Tikal, you can help. While they went off, I got to work reinforcing my base. Using the roses I'd got, I made some red dye to dye my sheep with before shearing them. With the wool in hand, I resumed building my knuckle statue. We're gonna need a symbol of hope. We got Tails and the monkeys settled in, with a workshop for Tails to do his research in. With the diamond, I forged a full set of armor for myself. I had iron to spare and crafted armor for my friends and a few extra weapons, just in case. My base is really coming together. On days 30 to 32, I I set off south in search of the diamond mine I'd read about. Before I left, I asked Tikal if she knew anything about it. She told me that it had once been the pride of the land, but now it had fallen into disrepair. I have to see what I could do about this. I have 15 hearts now. How hard can this be? I went south for a day until I reached the edge of the desert. There was the entrance of the mine. Spooky. I headed inside, taking out spiders as I went. Man, there's a lot of diamond in here. I'll take it. Wait, what's that? That's not a spider. It's a huge tarantula hawk. I tried to attack, but its armor was thick. I've got the diamond I need. I'll leave this guy alone for now. I escaped the cave and flew back to base. The diamond I put to good use. Crafting a set of diamond tools, armor, and weapons for me and my allies. There you guys go. By now, it was getting dark, so I used the rest to continue building up the old ruins. Tomorrow, I'll take care of Eggman. On days 33 to 35, Tails came to his workshop. He was picking up a huge signal on his radar. It's far to the east, out to sea. East, huh? That's the way that robot blaze went. It has to be Eggman. I gathered my gear and took off, looking forward to getting to the bottom of whatever it is that Eggman was planning. I traveled across the desert and eventually reached the coastline. I'm not the best swimmer. Wonder if I can build a boat? I was searching for some wood when I saw it. Smoke in the distance. Heading towards it, I saw a small fishing post under attack by Robot Blaze. <laughs> I flew in and began to attack. The robot blaze had some thick metal plating, but using my strength, I knocked it into sea. The blaze was injured and retreated, soaring out to sea. With the mob taken care of, I helped the villagers clean up the mess. The villager told me that the robots were coming from the sea and that I could borrow one of their boats if I wanted to. Thanks, guys. I'll do my best to bring it back. I looked around, seeing nothing, until Eggman. He's flying away, and he's in a hurry. I knew I needed to do whatever I could to catch up with him. On days 36 to 38, I crashed right into something. Looking up, it it was a massive oil rig. What's that above it? An airship? How did I not see that? Ah, well, I'm here now. I snuck in, climbing up until I've made it to the platform. Look at that. Robot creepers being pumped out by the dozen. There's the main console. I went in, knocking the robots aside as I tried to get to the console. I was almost there when... Why, you idiot! Chaos is out of control and you're attacking me? You're the one who set him free in the first place. If he gets all the Chaos Emeralds, he will be unstoppable. Save it. This facility has to go down with you on it. Suddenly, the blaze returned. This time, even bigger. Ugh, that hurt. This isn't looking good. Suddenly, someone entered. It was Sonic. Come on, then. Let's team up and break this guy. Eggman took off towards a sky fortress. Good to see, Knuckles. Up for a little race? First one, Eggman wins. Wait, get back here. I followed him on board the Sky Fortress. On days 39 to 41, I followed Sonic along the outside of the airship. Don't look down. We made it along the outside of the airship when it was rocked by a huge explosion. It was chaos, and he was wrecking Eggman's airship. Give me your emeralds, Eggman. We better avoid him for now. I don't think we have the strength to defeat him yet. There's Eggman. He was standing next to the ship's power source, a chaos emerald. Save me, Knuckles! Like I want to? Come on, Sonic. Let's grab that emerald and get out of here before it blows up. Take me with you! Don't leave me! Ugh, let's get off this thing. Nowhere to go? Guess we have to jump. We made it back to the oil platform. I filled Sonic in on what he'd missed and invited him back to my base. Let's take this loser with us. When he comes around, 
around, we'll make him help us get chaos under control. With Eggman following us, we made the long travel back to base. On days 42 to 44, we crossed the ocean and made it back to the desert. We were almost there when I saw my old enemy, the huge tarantula hawk, basking in a small pond of water. Well, I've got back up now. Let's go, Sonic. With our teamwork, the creature was easily defeated. I can't wait to check out the rest of that mine. By sundown, we arrived back to the base. I built a jail for Eggman and locked him inside. With him put away, I gave the emerald to Tails for safekeeping and got Sonic settled in. Uh, chili dog stand? Uh, Knuckles. You shouldn't have. I figured that should keep you out of trouble. I'll be right back. I headed back to the new mob free mine and cleaned it out. After I mined, I got to work finishing my base. With the base finished, I continued work on my statue. Almost done. Oh, hey, Takao. She told me that, thanks to the ruins being rebuilt, she had found some ancient inscriptions that might be able to give us an edge in the final battle. She needed time to read them, but I told her to stick to it. Once I finished rebuilding, everything should be easier, I hope. On days 45 to 46, I awoke to Tails barging into my room. Haven't you heard of knocking? There's no time. I've located the remaining Chaos Emeralds. Oh, good job, Tails. Where are we headed? Tails told me that there are two more emeralds apart from ours. One in the Ice Palace and one in the Emerald City. As I was gathering supplies for the journey, Takal came up to me. I had a vision last night. The Ice Palace is where Chaos is headed. Please, you have to save them. I will, Takal. I promise. Wait, what's that noise? Someone's attacking the wall. I ran over and saw Jeff fighting a swarm of monsters. They must be trying to bust Eggman out of prison. Come on, Jeff. Let's defeat these guys. With them defeated, I wanted to make sure that the base would hold up while I was away. Tails, care to build something a bit more explosive? Tails is overly excited. I left Tails to his workshop and flew off towards the tundra. On days 47 to 50, I crossed over the tundra. Man, it's cold. Should have brought a sweater. According to Takao, the Chaos Emerald was under the protection of a wizard in his magical ice palace. But I looked around and couldn't see anything. Maybe if I I climb this mountain, I'll get a better view. I was halfway up the mountainside when I saw it. Chaos. He's here. It's heading into the cave. I've got to follow him. I went over and climbed up the cave entrance, but I was too late. He's built a wall of slime. Well, at least I knew he was here. He won't get the drop on me again. I looked around and saw it. Whoa, now that's a palace. I was greeted by a villager who told me that the wizard was not accepting visitors at the time. But it's an emergency. You got to let me in. The villager said if I can bring him some fresh ice, I might be allowed in. Fresh ice? Your palace is made of it. Ugh, uh, I'll be right back. I punched a few tons of ice and hauled it back to the villager. <laughs> On days 51 to 53, I was well rested when I was summoned by the wizard. He introduced himself as the great wizard Bob. Oh yes, thank you for warning me about the Chaos Emerald. I'll place a spell on it immediately. I hope so, Bob. This Chaos Monster is no joke. This city has stood for a thousand years. Nothing has breached its walls, huh? Come on, let's see what that is. We ran over and saw a slime wither? Chaos must have summoned it and taken it over. I flew in, hitting the wither as hard as I could. I was about to attack again when I saw chaos entering the palace. It's a diversion. He's after the emerald. I tried to get to him, but the wither wouldn't let me. Get out of my way. Ah, that hurt. I'm already down to one heart. That's not good. Suddenly, there was a flash of light, and I was teleported to the nearby mountaintop. I've placed a protection spell over the palace. The emerald should be safe, even if my city isn't. We can't just let those monsters destroy this place, but I'm in no shape to fight. Bob gave me a potion, and I drank it. It would make me strong again, but it would take time, time we didn't have. I built us a little hut to weather the cold. It was better than nothing. On days 54 to 56, we waited. I was worried about the wither though. All those villagers. Look, wizard, I'm strong enough now. Let me get out there. So you can have all the fun? <laughs> no way. Sonic, Tails, good timing. Come on, wizard. We need to get back there. Sonic, you and I will take the wither. Tails and the wizard will secure the emerald. Let's get moving. The wizard teleported us back to the village. The wither had completely destroyed this place. Come on, Sonic. The wither was tough, but Sonic and I had faced far greater foes than him. Sonic used his super speed to distract it while I flew in and delivered the finishing blow. And that wither is down for the count. I began to feel stronger. 20 hearts! I was fully powered up. There was no time to celebrate. Tails was shouting at us from the palace. Chaos was inside. Come on, Sonic. We've got to move. We arrived just in time to see Chaos and the wizard teleport away. No! Tails! Where'd they go? Tails told me that the scanner had them in a nearby cave. Slime cave, huh? Well, I'm stronger now. Let's see if we can stop this guy once and for all. On days 57 to 59, I returned to the slime cave. Here we go. And I'm through! Hang on, wizard. I ran into the cave. 
safe. There's the wizard. The wizard was defeated, dropping the chaos emerald. I tried to grab it, but chaos knocked me away. No, now he's eating the emerald. But wait, why isn't he growing? What's happening? There was a huge flash of light. The emerald must have been a fake. I better get out of here. The explosion caused a cave-in. The wizard had one last trick up his sleeve. It looks like chaos survived as well. Close call. Ah, oh, but poor wizard. And where was that real emerald? I decided to head back to the palace and see if I can find it. On day 60 to 62, I searched the palace for any signs of the real emerald. I looked high and low. I doubt that TNT will keep chaos stunned for very long. Ugh, where is this thing? Suddenly, a snow golem appeared in front of me. Wait, who are you? The golem introduced himself as Bill. He was the wizard's minion. If he ever was defeated, Bill would take his place. <laughs> clever. Come on, let's go check it out. Bill hit a button and a portal opened up. He said it was in there, but I had to watch out. No worries, Bill. I got this. I jumped through and appeared in... Not sure where I am. Suddenly, I saw an entryway near Lava Mountain. I knew that's where the emerald had to be. But to get there, I'd have to really put my platforming skills to the test. It took a while, with quite a few close calls where I almost fell to my death, but I stuck with it. I made my way up, careful to watch my step until... I made it! Emerald in hand, I glided down to the portal and returned to my friends. I returned to the palace on day six to 65. Before we left to take it back to the base, Bill wanted a word. He cast an enchantment on my weapons. Sweet. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Thank you. Before we left, I wanted to fix the mess we'd caused. I headed down to the village and helped the villagers rebuild some of the houses. We worked day and night until we heard that expected sound. Chaos. I think that's our cue. Sonic, take this emerald and lead chaos away from the city. These villagers have suffered enough. Before we followed Sonic, the villagers gave us a stash of netherite ore they'd been saving. Thanks, guys. I promised we'd put it to good use. On days 66 to 68, Tails and I raced after Sonic. He should be way ahead of us by now. No way. Chaos could keep up with him. Oh no, Sonic. He was down. Guys, uh, he's too strong. I failed. Ugh. Tails, get him out of here. Let's put these new weapons to the test. It worked. Chaos took damage. Finally, I've been aching to bring you down. My attacks rained down. Chaos taking hit after hit. You think you've won. You're dead wrong. Suddenly, I was covered in slime. Surrender, Knuckles. Face your punishment with pride. Luckily, Tails hit Chaos with his freezing potion. It wasn't much, but it was enough to hold him for now. I punched my way free. Now's our chance. Tails, get Sonic moving and let's get out of here. We helped him up and made our long, slow journey back to base. On days 69 to 71, we made it back to base to find it under attack by robot creepers. Luckily, it looks like Tails built turrets. Tails' defenses were operational. I took some out with my new fire weapons. Jeff thanked me. He looked super banged up. Well, thanks for holding the line, buddy. We repaired the damage done and got Sonic inside. Tails said he wasn't looking too good. Chaos must have really hurt him. After that, I gave Takal the second emerald. Any luck on these inscriptions? Almost. I'm halfway done. With two emeralds in our care, Chaos is gonna be honest before we know it. I put the final touches on my base. Because Tails' first turrets worked so well, we built even bigger ones, and we added a lot more. I used the netherite to fashion up a set of armor for everyone. Our defenses have never been better. On days 72 to 74, I took a spare few hours to finish my knuckle statue. There we go. It really came together nicely. Suddenly, there was an explosion. Eggman's cell. No, there he goes. The robots are helping him escape. We were lucky. We needed to stop him, but he was heading towards the city. He must be after the final emerald. I can't let him get it. On days 75 to 77, I followed the trail left by Eggman and his robots. I crossed out of the desert and into the Badlands. Another one of Eggman's bases, huh? At least there's no factory this time. He's in one now. I flew in, taking out his robots with ease. I'm so much stronger now. Now for you. Eggman, why did you break out? I'm trying to make up for what I've done. This doesn't sound like you. Chaos is a creature without purpose. He lives to destroy. That's it. And at least I have a plan. As much as I hate it, lead the way then. But when this is all over, I'm taking you in. A Knuckles and Eggman team up. Didn't think I'd see the day. I hope Sonic doesn't hear about this. On days 78 to 80, we made it out of the Badlands and into the plains. There's the city. Man, it's huge. Eggman wanted to evacuate the city. I still can't get over this nice guy side of you, Eggman. We headed into the city center, and we were about to warn the villagers when I saw them. Being attacked by slimes. That means chaos is here. I took them out, but the villagers didn't seem to care. The city is in danger. We tried to warn them, but no one would listen to us. I decided to build a nearby bunker for the villagers to escape to. If they ever decided to listen, I hope this will be strong enough. It has to be. On days 81 to 85, Eggman and I stayed on high alert. All we could do was watch from afar. Until one day, what was that sound? It was chaos. It had to be. We headed towards the sound of battle until we saw him. Buildings were burning and villagers were running around panicking. It's chaos. He's absorbed another emerald. We're too late. Chaos ate the fourth emerald, growing to an almost impossible size. He's huge. Come on, Eggman. Let's help these people. We try to lead the villagers to safety. 
safety as Chaos smashed through the city. With the villagers out of the way, we turned our attention to Chaos. Eggman attacked, but was instantly knocked away. My fist did some damage, but I was just too small. It seems like Chaos wasn't even affected by it. He just turned and began to walk in the direction of my base. He's too powerful for just us, Knuckles! We need to retreat! As much as I hate to admit it, I think you're right. We've got a world to save. On days 86 to 90, we returned home to find a whole army of slimes attacking the walls. Some of them were huge. Luckily, Tails had made an army of Jeffs. Uh, I mean, Iron Golems. And they were able to hold the line. Back at base, Eggman said he had a plan. Wait, we're working with this loser now? It's a long story, Tails, but he's trying to help. He said instead of giving the emeralds to Chaos, Sonic can just tap into them himself. Is Sonic up for it, though? As I'll ever be. Sonic, you're okay. Well, now we have a plan, at least. With that settled, I got to work finishing the ruins. Just a few more blocks and done. Takal appeared, and together, we stood back and looked at the finished homeland, finally rebuilt. Thank you, Knuckles. It was my pleasure. Hey, how are the translations going? Takal told me that with the ruins rebuilt, she discovered something interesting. Apparently, beneath these ruins was an ancient burial site. When Chaos had first risen, our ancestors had used an ancient device to capture him. It must still be there. I asked her to show me the entrance, and she gave me a list of directions she'd been able to translate. With the directions in hand, I decided to check it out. On days 91 to 94, I searched inside the ruins for an entrance to the burial site. I don't get it. I built this palace, and I didn't see any secret doors or passageways. I guess there's nothing to do but dig. Whoa, a trap door. I opened it, and I headed underground, following the directions Sakal had deciphered. There were a bunch of tarantula hawks in my way, but with my newfound strength and fire weapons, I was no no longer scared. Eventually, the maze straightened out, and I stepped into a massive underground cave. In the center of the room was what looked like a beacon of light, and a ghost? It was a ghost me. So our pasts come back to haunt the present. I'm sorry you had to clean up our mess. What do you mean? Can you guys help us defeat chaos? We can show you. Step into the light and learn your destiny. I've got to admit, this is a little weird. The ghost promised once I step into the light, he will fill me in on everything I need to know. So I decided to go on and do it. On days 95 to 98, I appeared appeared in, I wasn't sure where. The ghost informed me that I was thousands of years into the past, when Chaos first stalked all these lands. We feared his power, so we attacked him and locked him away. So this is where the temple is, but before it was built up, there was a city here. There's a flash of light. Now the temple is on fire, and there's Chaos, and Takal. She's right in front of him. She's gonna get eaten. What's she holding? Her pendant? Her ancestor contains the Master Emerald. With its power, Chaos was born, and it also means that Chaos can be contained by it. The Master Emerald? Where can we find it? But the ghost was gone. I was back at the burial site. Wait, what's this in my inventory? Another pendant like Tikal's? What did any of that mean? I went to head back up to the surface. When the ground started to shake, suddenly, a huge hole opened up in the ceiling and Sonic came falling through. Sonic, are you okay? I tried, Knuckles, but he's too strong. It's up to you now. I won't let you down. Chaos, I'm coming for you. On day 99, I returned to the surface to find Chaos standing in the middle of my base. He was absorbing the last two emeralds. He grew. His size was almost unbelievable. Unbelievable. Behold, a world in perfect chaos. That's one big slime. The cow ran up to me. Sorry I was gone, but I think I might have an idea. Give me that pendant of yours. I took her pendant and combined it with the other half I was given. Follow me, chaos. Chaos started to follow me. Man, I hope this works. This was it. Day 100. I flew far out into the desert. Chaos was right behind me. Man, I hope this works. I tried to use the master emerald. All of a sudden, there was a flash of light and the master emerald appeared. I focused on the power coming off of the master emerald and yes, I focused, using all my will. Chaos is freaking out. He's losing his emeralds. It's my chance. One big punch. Ha! Yes! Look at that slime now. Not again! Curse you! We did it. Chaos had been captured again, and I successfully survived the 100 days as Knuckles.